All right. Well, on the other side of the Fiala trade, let's just uh, flip it quick to the Europe side of things. Not much to say here, but I know playoffs coming up here. Take a minute on Liam Ugrin. Liam ugrin has got playoffs coming up. Slow start to the all Svenskan season. Obviously, he came in. He missed a lot of the preseason games with injury after the Summer World Juniors. Um, so, slow start. He's playing left fourth line minutes, not getting any good ice time. Um, and then he kind of just, like, had a couple points in a few games and started getting looks in the top six. And now he is a mainstay on that top line. Um, he's top six or seven in scoring on that team after missing, like, ten games or so with injury. Um I think he's got 10 or 11 goals now in the season, maybe. But anyway, he can't now he's averaging like anywhere from 16 to 20 minutes a night. He's playing on both sides of the puck. The playmaking is a little bit more there than it used to be. Uh, I'd still like to see the skating take a little, another step. I think that'll unlock a lot more playmaking for him instead of just like kind of pure goal scoring. But even then I still think you're seeing flashes of it this year. Um, but he's just, Hey, the fact that, you know, at the beginning of the year, again, it was Oslin making all the noise between those three, him, Ogren, and Lekaramaki. It was all Oslin. And now, you know, Ogren's on that top line. He's one of their go-to guys in the power play. He looks super confident. Again, he's got the size already. Um, and he looks stronger on the puck as well. And I think even the defensive game's taking a step. Um, but he's just having a solid, like, second half of the year. And now the playoffs are starting the Osvenskin, so we'll see what happens there. Love it. 